Hello and welcome back to another video of Fallout. Let's play Survivor Difficulty. And there's been a bit of a, a bit of a difference from the last three videos. Uh, I played the game about six hours, and then the recording ended up being messed up. So I had to reload the old save, but I didn't have an old save in the area, so I had to start over again completely. Fortunately, I did have another character I was fiddling around with. I was like going through the character customization, trying to sort out some of the problems I had with my other characters. And I kind of succeeded. Of course this means the character I now have is different. Quite a bit different. He's a redhead for one thing. But all that time I spent working on his mouth should mean he speaks like a human being and not like some kind of strange man-child from the planet Zarvan. That said, I've also spent a lot of time in this area picking rubbish up and making stuff. I figured out how the electronic system works. You have uh, your generators and you have pylons. Looks like the, the bigger pylons you can see in the distance. Use them to like have the wires to ferry the power around and you can ha attach power to buildings and then have anything within I think it's about if I were to attach one here I'll, I'll show you well, I'll kind of show you I won't actually use one because it'll use one of my uh, my precious precious copper pieces of copper it's one of these like you'll attach it to use two copper like you attach it to like uh, the side of a building there and then you connect a wire from that to this and then anything within so if it was there, anything up to about here would then be powered. I suppose what you would do for that is have like them all around the building and then connect it all together with wires. So you could have the entire building electrified. There may be a more efe efe efficient, efficient way of doing it, but I don't know. That of course wasn't all I did. Um, I spent quite a bit of time setting up, because you can see in the distance there, there's walls put almost completely around, there's a, a gate to the back entrance and more walls, and an entire defensive fortification, with uh, two turrets, three guard towers, uh, two mini shacks for people to rest in, six people to rest in, I'm probably going to have to put more, uh, more smaller guard towers around. But I'm planning on having another pair of turrets right here. Because I do believe they, when you get raiders at attack, they come across the bridge. And while with the defences I've put up may mean we never actually get any raiders attacking, it's, it's better, better here and ready than not be here and ready. Of course, building things like this does mean you... Um, gain experience for it and if you may remember I was like level 1 level 2 before and um, yeah level 7 now but I haven't used my perks yet I don't think oh no I have I've equipped my perks it must have auto saved uh, after I selected my perks uh, I basically picked uh, toughness uh, armorer to make uh, armor mods, lock pick to make, so I can pick expert locks, uh, lone wanderer because I'm only really going to be using dog meat and uh, dog meat doesn't count towards it. Um, also got gun nut, I'm probably going to go for scrapper and then scientists after I've got enough points for it. Uh, the same for this, I'm going to go a kind of sneak, a critical, explosive I'm just going to go for whatever works in whatever situation. Because, yeah, I'm not very good at the game. How you manage to impale a tire iron into it, I don't know, but props to you. Didn't save you, but uh, you did manage to kill it in the end. Uh, short pipe revolver. Um, uses 45 ammo. I'm not going to bother with that. 
and it could probably be useful. I hope when we get mods in the future, we have it so the build area, because it's around Sanctuary, it goes out fairly far, but I'd love it to be able to like stretch all the way to this place, because I do know, because I did the video before this and I fucked up and it reloaded a older save, that we have this, which is another, it makes it another buildable area. Hello, boy. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Yeah. I don't know why we had music coming through the radio when I've got, like, the radio music turned off. I could go around and loot and loot everything. But I'm going to be uh, doing, well, this when I'm not recording. Just to collect all of the random crap. Of course, you only use the random crap to build stuff. And building stuff is fun. And useful. It's what I tend to do when I'm not recording. Uh, like when I'm editing and rendering videos. I end up building... Pulling some more stuff, working. Bloody hell, dog! You scared the crap out of me then. I'll end up um, working on settlements and stuff. Welcome to Robco Industries TM Terminal Link. Welcome, Red Rocket employee. Uh, business entries. New equipment installed. Took some wrangling with the head office, but we finally got all the tools we need to machine our own parts. Now we're having to pay for Corvega factory parts the next time they change the spec on a damn fast enough. Just take one we got and trim the excess until it fits. I don't know if the fastener means some kind of fastener or there's a car called the fastener. Hmm. Ah, Rosa Restoration. That Rosa widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. Nice woman. Pretty. Kid seems like a bit of a brat, but I guess that's the point of her doing this project with him. Anyway, she's been doing a hell of a job. I was amazed at how much her and her kid have been able to do on their own. The only reason she came to me is because the engine is out of a depth. I'm sure we can help her out. A safe storage. Jim, take care of those barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favour us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? And I know this service log is just a log of the things they've done. Replace the brakes on a 2075 Fusion Flea Supreme. I still think that's a really silly name for a car. Ah, looks like we have guests. Like the guests have gone away. Did you like knock it out of my way when I was meleeing it? If they've gone underground to so continue to move, which will pop out at any point soon. Unless they've run away. Have they run away, dog? Have they really run away? <laughs> you usually have to... Oh no, they're just wait biding their time. <laughs> oh, I hit it so hard with the butt of my gun I made its head fly off. That must be quite strong. Oh, get out of here. Thank you. Ironically, I also think because I'm now level 7, the enemies are stronger as well, because I rem distinctly remember the first time I played this on this difficulty, I could one-shot them. 
with a melee. May I explain why when I got to uh, this place we're going, I got killed. They threw a Molotov cocktail and it kind of sat my health like uh, me jogging down a cappuccino. Well, a mostly cold cappuccino, because then you have to. Otherwise, it uh, will go to waste, and you don't want that. I'm a craft bench. Uh, really right leg. Yeah. Don't really have anything I can do it with yet. And there was that bloody mouse acceleration crap. I went to turn around like that and stuff about there, but I went all the way around and went boom. Really disorientating and annoying. And this must be the cave. Considering how many jumped out at us, I wonder how many are waiting for us down here now. Um, I'd say, where are you? You're usually getting in my way. Literally. Standing in front of me. Blocking my path. I wonder. went well and uh, dog mate hello has dog meat not followed me in I think I've, I, I when I was playing it yesterday the same thing happened it's like he was lagging behind and rather than join me in the building I went into he just stayed outside and because of that I never learned his name from the lady if you played this you know who I mean I'll probably be showing it to you later as well. I know I'm being rather blasé about roleplay s things, but <laughs> I just cannot be bothered right now. Crispy, crispy, crispy squirrel bit. Crispy squirrel bit. Very nice. Ball pen hammer. Mr. Benson, on behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for Greatest Year-to-Year -year Waste Reduction by a Single Store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your innovative efforts in this regard. Sincerely, 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 Gerald, sincerely, Gerald Phillips, Vice President, Boston Region. Yeah. I would not say he was being particularly environmentally friendly. But then who am I to argue with the the great winner of the 2076 I'm an idiot get me out of there reward. Oh boy, that's um not what I was expecting. Um I want to get it in the face. I was hoping to also get a sneak attack on it, but okay. It's 
splat. Irradiated blood. I'm really hoping I can use that for something. I was tempted to use a grenade on that. Because, <laughs> to be completely honest, enemies in this particular playthrough seem to be quite a bit stronger than the last one. That's a good thing, it keeps me on my toes and all, but it's also very, very freaking terrifying. Ooh, Raxo. I may have to start upping my luck just to... Ugh. Upping my luck just so I get better stuff. Sweet. That was a bit of a bitch to get. Buff out fragmentation grenade, mine, jet and power relay coil. Don't think I've ever got a power relay coil before. Oh well, let's leave this wretched place and go and see if my dog is outside licking his own balls. As I suspect he may be. He looks like a ball licker. Well, in the, in the time it took me to go down, it went from being nice and bright to rainy and foggy. And where are you going? That's not where we're going. Sure, I'd like to go up there, but we've got to check Concord. Who knows, maybe somebody still living here has uh, found my son. Have you found my son? Because that would be really, really useful. Okay, lead the way, you found something. What? It's a bobby pin have like 20 of them. What, there's more there? Oh, there's a safe. Good boy. Bollocks. <laughs> yeah. I really do not like this mini game. God. Come to think, come to think of it, I don't much like the hacking mini game for this either. And I'm really hoping we get mods for that as well. But I'm not gonna uh, hold my hopes. I have a feeling they will be some of the mods which get omitted. Um, dog, let's try and get indoors. We can wait. We can wait to try and search once the rain's gone away. Now oh, this part doesn't seem to have been that. This part doesn't seem to. Uh, how have too doing? much rain? Hey, boy, you know any tricks? Oh, any cute? Huh? Ooh, some cram. Two hundred something year old cram. Very, very unlikely I'm going to eat it, but j just entertain yourself over there. I'm going to get frustrated at a lock again. 
Yep, get frustrated into the lock again. That's it. Uh, more 38, 45, and money and stuff. The shotgun shells are what really interest me out of that. Insta mash and sugar bombs. All the amenities of my old life. Miserable weather, isn't it? Oh well, let's get this over with. I'll try and find somebody. Well, it's probably not a good idea to run around with my pistol drawn. Might, might send the wrong message. Yeah, forget that. Pistol's drawn the whole bloody way. It's probably also crouch as well. And also save it, because this is where I died last time. Oh, I could have probably just quick saved. on that armor I just got. Sure, it's not exactly going to be um, a, great, a lot in the way of armor. I mean, but it's better than, no, not in the way of charismatic, but it's uh, armor. So, yeah. Let's run my vault suit and put the raider Hmm. I think that pretty much puts me almost completely armoured up. Although I would have preferred a leather chest piece to uh, to add in. Because um, I get body shot, I'm screwed. Although, yeah, that looks really weird. these guys first. You really did go to town on these guys. And you did it with a laser musket? Yeah, I think I'm gonna get me one of these. Quite literally. Now, I could come and help you, or I could get in out of the rain and look about equipping that stuff I just got. So, the... I've got four frag grenades now, which is nice. Um, pipe auto pistol. Yeah, I think I'll have that, the pipe auto pistol. Oof, we've got all that pistol. Yep, yeah, I think I'll have the auto pistol as a secondary pistol weapon. It uses a different type of ammo, so. There you go. And oh, oh, a complete leather setup. Lightweight radar with right arm. Um, I'll put 
military cap on. Extra perception. Athletic outfit. I'll have to check that out later. <laughs> I've just like equipped everything, so I'm not going to do it now. Let's have a look what I look like now. Huh. Not bad. Well, if I had uh, a right shoulder lever stuff, it would look better. Have a look at this. Oh, not bad. I'm probably going to say that a lot. Huh, not bad. But it is, literally, not bad. Light bulb. Hey, light bulb. Hey, Christmas tree. Hard hat. I think that gives like free head base defense. But I'm going to stick with my cap. The extra um, perception is probably going to be helpful. Huh. Uh, buff out and psycho. I thought that was going to be another cap stash. I'm sure there are more areas in this area that I could go and search, but should probably help these guys. I did kind of agree that I was going to do it, and I really don't want to break my word. Because I am a man of my word. Oh, my left arm has uh, gone a bit dead. Yeah, the Raiders in this one are a little bit stronger than before. That should have killed it. Well, hello there. Did you jump down? Gotcha. Okay, where are you guys? I know there's more of you around. Dog meat, you are in the fucking way. Where the hell is this girl? So have you. Say the same thing. Okay, let's get this. Ah, open. <laughs> oh, it's another fusion core. Now, while I could do that terminal for XP, 
Oh, and they're cute. Uh, I'm not going to. Decent art down here. Don't know why there's decent art down here, but there is. Well, I wouldn't call it decent art, it's art. And in this day and age, any art is decent art. Well, it was worth it for the, uh, for that, for the duct tape, the adhesive you get from the duct tape. Yeah, my left arm has really gone dead. My hand's numb. <laughs> I might actually turn the music off or down, the, the basic music, because during that firefight it was way too loud, it like drowned everything out. Ironically, I've probably also got it too low now. Road levers. Subway token. Why do I have a feeling that's going to come in very, very useful later? Timber. Finding caps all over the place. And there's also this guy down here I didn't collect. Or I say all girl, but no, it's a guy. Ah, cigarettes and bobby pin. An advanced lock. I can unlock advanced locks. I can unlock advanced locks. Just not very well. There we go. Thanks for the ammo. The ammo is good. There's enough checking down here. Let's uh, move on up. Check the left side. Let's check the right. Uh, that glowing pile I've already had. Yes, I've already opened that one, and I'm not going to be able to get to that door. I'm just going to fall all the way down. I'm telling you, man, this is getting the hell out of here. They got all these fucking guns. Yeah. Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I'd say we're all waiting to die. I swear to God, you make a move for that exit, and I'll gut you myself. Out, but we'll never get the drop on this guy. Get the drop on that bitch. Both of you. Nicely killed as the music ends. Wow, well, when I say nicely killed. Going out in a ball of flame is not exactly nicely killed. America's freedom fighters activate. This mural commemorates the many sacrifices of the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces. From Lexington to Concord, from Lexington, from Lexington and the Concord to the shores of Iwo Jima and the Sea of Tranquility to the Anchorage front line. Americans have fought and died through the ages to secure our nation's freedom. 
May their sacrifice remind of remind of us. Oh, that freedom is a privilege afforded to the many, yet hard won by the noble few. Inspiring, but I'm not American, so. How much am I for weight? Uh, oof, getting close. I'd be almost, I'd be completely overladen if I didn't take that uh, Lone Wanderer perk. Oi! Leave my dog alone. <laughs> Bitch. You okay, boy? Um. Yeah, give me a minute. There's um, surely more things I can loot. Like an extra grenade. And an entire room. And, mate, there's no rush. We've kind of taken them out. The ones inside, anyway. If there's any more outside, um... You were doing a great job of kind of picking them apart from on that balcony. And didn't I level up? Yes, I did. Now, there are some perks I could take, I would like to take. Um, like that, for instance. But I can still save up stuff for it. That would be useful. Extra damage. That would be useful to find more ammunition. So with that. But at the moment, I think... I'm going to use this. It basically means any long range non automatic weapon does 20% more damage. I'm also going to do the same for that as well. So I've got. I tend to use non automatic weapons most of the time. Okay, so yeah. That looks like it's everything. Although, have I been on the, that floor? No, I don't think I have. But I'm willing to bet you go through this room to get to it. I'm just waiting for the you are over encumbered sign to appear. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Minutemen? Ah, uh, that ain't it. You know I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Who are these people? Maybe just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and Jean. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around oh, here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up Maybe. and live for a long time. 
but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. The Raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrae. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Yeah, I'd say I dig. And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. I'd say I have a feeling I'm going to need it, but I'm not entirely sure I do. There we go. Hmm. Includes the Atomic Commando holotape game. That's, um, nice to know. Excuse me there, dude. It's free XP. <laughs> Not nose, so it's got no uh, S in it. That's it. It's hatch. Okay. <laughs> Unlock security gate. I'd have technically already unlocked it. Let's have a look at the log entries. After hours, tomfoolery. For the last time, the red coat mannequin display are not toy soldiers, and are not to be played with after hours. Two of them have scuffed paint. And this morning, one of the foot regiment pieces was missing his arm. This sort of horsing around will not be tolerated. Anyone caught engaging in such behaviour will be written up, docked an hour's pay, and charged for damages. Chief Creator, Harold Nash. While you have a really nice look sounding name, you also seem like a bit of a dick. Roaches in the basement. Someone get maintenance down in the basement to deal with that roach problem. Do it now, on the down low, while the museum is open. Discretion is key. We cannot afford to close the museum again, nor is it acceptable for a child to find a cockroach in his or her hair. As she's learning about taxation without representation. The situation must be resolved immediately. Again, Chief Creator Harold Nash. Anchorage Exhibition. After meeting with the director and the board of trustees, I'm afraid I must deliver some rather dire news. A planned anchorage exhibit has been put on indefinite hold. It is simply not within the museum's budget at this time to make the, renovation, the, renovations, <laughs> the renovations necessary to accommodate an ex, uh, an ambitious, such an ambitious endeavour. My thanks to the curatorial and maintenance teams for all the work that's been done thus far. And final entry. Saturday, October 23rd, 2077, the day the bombs fell. 
This is Megan Hayes. I'm a tour guide here at the Concord Museum of Freedom. I'm so scared. We never once saw the Flashy as they left. Even Mr. Nash. He just ran away and left me here. Jerk. And then, one of those army helicopter things crashed into the roof. I saw soldiers, but they looked freaked out. I just hid from them. I've only been in Massachusetts a month. I don't really know anyone. And I don't know where to go. I broke the lock on the curator's desk and took his gun. I'm going to hide in one of the rooms for a few days. Until things calm down, if somebody finds this, please come find me. But if you try to hurt me, I swear I'll shoot you. Now, I've searched this entire building, and I have not found a room with a, what would most definitely be a skeleton. And a gun, so... Anybody have any idea where it is? Feel free to let me know.